Welcome to How K Improve English, the English Practice Channel. Today's reading paragraph is about tea and coffee. This lesson is divided into three parts. First, listen and focus. Second, listen and repeat. Third, synonyms. Stay until the end and boost your English skills today. Before starting, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And now let's begin. Step 1. Listen and focus. About coffee and tea. Tea and coffee are two of the most popular beverages consumed around the world. Beverages. Beverages are drinks made for people to consume, like water, juices, soda, coffee, and tea, etc. Both contain caffeine and therefore can provide an energy boost. But there are some key differences between the two drinks. Tea is made by steeping leaves, most commonly from the Camellia sinensis plant. Camellia sinensis is a plant species that is used to make most common types of tea. The caffeine content in tea can range from about 15 to 70 milligrams per 8 ounces cup depending on the type and brewing time. Brewing time refers to the amount of time you let the tea leaves soak in the hot water before drinking tea. Tea contains antioxidants called polyphenols that may offer health benefits. There are many varieties of tea including black, green, white, and herbal tea. Black tea tends to have the highest caffeine content while herbal teas contain almost no caffeine. Tea has a smooth, delicate flavor. Coffee is brewed from the roasted seeds of the coffee plant. Brewing refers to the process of extracting flavor, aroma, and other compounds from coffee beans by steeping them in hot water. An 8 ounces cup of coffee provides about 70 to 140 milligrams caffeine on average. Coffee has a stronger, richer flavor compared to tea. The roasting process of coffee beans results in the formation of hundreds of chemical compounds that contribute to its complex taste and aroma. Coffee provides some antioxidants but not as much as tea does. People often add milk, cream, sugar, and flavored syrups to coffee to smooth out its acidic taste. Tea and coffee both have caffeine to give you energy. But tea might be healthier because it has antioxidants. Coffee tastes stronger than tea. Tea tastes more delicate. Whether you pick tea or coffee depends on what you like the taste of more, how much caffeine you want, if you like strong or delicate flavors. Step 2. Listen and repeat after me. Tea and coffee are two of the most popular beverages consumed around the world. Tea and coffee are two of the most popular beverages consumed around the world. Both contain caffeine and therefore can provide an energy boost, but there are some key differences between the two drinks. Both contain caffeine and therefore can provide an energy boost, but there are some key differences between the two drinks. Tea is made by steeping leaves most commonly from the Camellia sinensis plant. Tea is made by steeping leaves, most commonly from the Camellia sinensis plant. The caffeine content in tea can range from about 15 to 70 milligrams per 8 ounces cup depending on the type and brewing time. The caffeine content in tea can range from about 15 to 70 milligrams per 8 ounces cup depending on the type and brewing time. Tea contains antioxidants called polyphenols that may offer health benefits. Tea contains antioxidants called polyphenols that may offer health benefits. There are many varieties of tea including black, green, white, and herbal tea. There are many varieties of tea including black, 
green, white, and herbal tea. Black tea tends to have the highest caffeine content while herbal teas contain almost no caffeine. Black tea tends to have the highest caffeine content while herbal teas contain almost no caffeine. Tea has a smooth, delicate flavor. Tea has a smooth, delicate flavor. Coffee is brewed from the roasted seeds of the coffee plant. An 8 ounces cup of coffee provides about 70 to 140 milligrams caffeine on average. Coffee is brewed from the roasted seeds of the coffee plant. An 8 ounces cup of coffee provides about 70 to 140 milligrams caffeine on average. Coffee has a stronger, richer flavor compared to tea. Coffee has a stronger, richer flavor compared to tea. The roasting process of coffee beans results in the formation of hundreds of chemical compounds that contribute to its complex taste and aroma. The roasting process of coffee beans results in the formation of hundreds of chemical compounds that contribute to its complex taste and aroma. Coffee provides some antioxidants, but not as much as tea does. Coffee provides some antioxidants, but not as much as tea does. People often add milk, cream, sugar, and flavored syrups to coffee to smooth out its acidic taste. People often add milk, cream, sugar, and flavored syrups to coffee to smooth out its acidic taste. Tea and coffee both have caffeine to give you energy. Tea and coffee both have caffeine to give you energy. But tea might be healthier because it has antioxidants. But tea might be healthier because it has antioxidants. Coffee tastes stronger than tea. Tea tastes more delicate. Coffee tastes stronger than tea. Tea tastes more delicate. Whether you pick tea or coffee depends on what you like the taste of more. How much caffeine you want. If you like strong or delicate flavors. Whether you pick tea or coffee depends on what you like the taste of more. How much caffeine you want. If you like strong or delicate flavors. Step 3. Synonyms related to paragraph. Number 1. Delicate. Equals faint, light. Number 2. Boost. Equals lift, escalate. Number 3. Complex. Equals elaborate, sophisticated. Number 4. Brewed equals prepared, made. Number five, roasted equals cooked, heated. Number six, offer equals propose, present. Number seven, varieties equals assortments, selections. Number eight, contribute equals give provide if you have watched the video completely you are improving your english thanks for watching